Biggest comeback night since he got out of the penitentiary. Oh, what penitentiary was he in? One, two, or three. Because I like the one when Lee and Isaac Kenny fight the midget. The midget put a whooping on his ass, too sweet. Oh, man, the midget slapped his too sweet all around the place. No, you don't understand. Uh -huh. See, he just got out of FSP. See. Oh, I do understand. Because you know, one time I was locked up in the KFC bathroom with a little PYT and I had a young KY. Oh, someone get this Jericho tripping fire hazard away from me. Uh, don't play hate things. Don't play hate. Move! Because the women think I'm hip slick and all of them love my pop kids. I'll take that. Watch it. Watch it. Hey, Rick! Rick Yang! It's all over for you. Rick. Yeah, I'm here now. Rick Yang! Right. What's up? What's up? idiot here, Nick. Rick I don't believe I. Rick Yang! Oh, it's been a long time. I know, okay. That's it. Let me look at you. Uh -huh. Look, man, um, you go jam with the band. Oh, you know I got my tambourine. You got your tambourine? Right. You remember I saw? Uh -huh. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We, we don't need no water. water. Let this mother bring a vibe. Tonight on the Keen and Ivory Wayans Show, actress Regina King from the number one daytime drama, The Young and the Restless, Tanya Lee Williams, plus classic funk master Rick James performs live.
All right. All right. Welcome to the show. Good to have y'all here. Good to have y'all here. I got to say something. L.A., whoo, they got some player haters out here. I, I, went out, I went out to a club last night, right? I'm sitting there with my girlfriend holding her hand. And this girl comes over and puts her arm around my neck and goes, do you remember me? <laughs> Brothers, y'all ever had to happen? <laughs> oh, Lord, that much. <laughs> well, you know what I said, right? Hell no. That's right. That's what I said. <laughs> Hell no. I don't remember you. <laughs> That's right. I live by the rule, just because I did it don't mean I have to admit it. I just... <laughs> We all lie, always do. The president lies, right? <laughs> Biggest lie I ever heard was him going, he smoked a joint, but he didn't inhale. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of excuse is that? That'd have been like me telling my girl, yeah, I hit it, but I ain't like it. <laughs> Can't get away with that. <laughs> See, I gotta tell you ladies something though. Guys, we don't, plan to lie. We never plan to lie. We, we come in, we're we going to tell you the truth, but then y'all make it too easy. <laughs> you know what I mean, guys? You ever stall long enough for her to give you way out? She might, where you been? Uh, I, I, uh, you was out with Johnny, was he? Yeah, I was out, I was out with Johnny. I was out with Johnny. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Y'all was, was playing pool all night again? Yeah, we, we, that's, that's it, girl, playing pool all night. I was gonna call you, you know, but we got caught up in that game, yeah. <laughs> then you find out six months later that she was with Johnny all night? <laughs> huh? <laughs> don't fall, don't fall for that. Because women are smart, y'all, y'all, you know, make sure you cover all your bases. You call your girlfriend's girl again. Now, we gonna say this. I was at your house, and we had a little taco party, and we watched this movie, <laughs> you know? They get it all together. Right? Guys, we just do it at the last minute, right? You realize after you get home, oh, damn. What time it? Oh, look here, dog. Just, uh, just, just say we, uh, we went to the movies. All right, we went to the movies. And you got that dumbass friend. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> he forget by the time you get to the door. And your girl like, where y'all been? Uh, tell him where we was, tell him where we was at, man. <laughs> well, <laughs> We went out with them freaks, that's for sure. <laughs> we sure went with them. <laughs> we, ain't no, we ain't no help. But we make each other lie. We do. Men, we make women lie. Because we got the worst timing in the world. Right in the middle of sex, what do you want to ask a girl? Whose is it? <laughs> you ever heard that? What's she supposed to say? Whose is it? Whose is it? It's yours, Larry, Thomas, Martin, Sarah. What's she supposed to say? You don't leave her no choice. You don't ask no question like that. It would be nice if we could tell the truth, wouldn't it? Because we have to lie. Guys, we, we don't want to do it. Young ladies, y'all make us lie too. Wouldn't it be nice the next time your girl says, these pants make my ass look big? You could actually go, no, it's your ass that makes your ass look good. <laughs> Not the pants. <laughs> you need to lose some weight. See, guys lie about sex. We do. But guys lie to make themselves look good. My favorite is the guy who doesn't quite lie. He just repeats everything you ask him. You know the guy I'm talking about? Go, yo, man, so uh, did you hit that? Did I hit that? <laughs> Was she a freak? Was she a freak? <laughs> you know, he ne never quite gives you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> women lie. Y'all lie about sex, too. Yes, y'all do. I love the women go, I can count the amount of men I've been with on one hand. <laughs> That's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. <laughs> It's 
it's so hard. It's, so, it's just hard, man. Right? Just once, I want to be able to tell the truth. Wouldn't that be nice if we could all just tell the truth? Next time a woman asks you, will you expect me in the morning? You can look at it and go, baby, I won't even be here in the morning. <laughs> I'll be out. <laughs> Y'all are still lovers, won't you? Yeah, you will. We got a great show tonight. Yeah. Yes, doing his first TV performance since we know when. <laughs> He's my first guest tonight, responsible for some of the greatest funk anthems of all time. You and I, Mary Jane, <laughs> Super Freak. And here to perform his classic, give it to me, give it up for Rick James. <laughs>
will be back in the show to talk with us. You guys stick around. We'll be back with Regina King. You check out the CD, Urban Rhapsody, Rick's new thing. We'll be right back after this. We're here to perform Player's Way, featuring a special guest, Mr. Bobby Womack. It's Rick James. One more time. Give it up. You know everything nice comes with a price. You know. I gotta get mine. I gotta make sure you get yours. Gotta make sure you get yours. Cause we're in this thing together, baby. You understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. Pimpin' ain't easy, Bobby. Don't you know that, baby? Somebody's got to do it, Rick. Somebody yeah. gotta do it. All right, got to make it easy, mm -hmm. baby. Yeah, it's a yeah. story for you. When I first hit the spot, you were hot to trot and so naive. Mm -hmm. Girl, I ran so much game on you, you could not believe I was your king and you were my queen. We played high society. Girl, I taught you the trick and work your slick game on the stroll. Oh, yeah. And I took you to places that before you could never go. And oh, how we danced oh, how in we Paris, France. And we say back to them mm -hmm. not so long ago. That's a player's way. That's a player's way. That's a player's way. On the first day you chose me, you knew just what oh. I had to do. Get my pockets on full, but now the work was up to you. Gotta be up get out on the stroll, girl, and get my bank roll. And my money grew and grew. And there never was a time I looked in your eyes and was getting my money bit for die, for die. I am the king, and you are my queen. Oh, That's the way it's got to be. Gotta be, gotta be, gotta be. That's a Difference that they made. There's 
a rainbow before me. Well, first of all, I want, to, I want to say thank you for being here. Thanks for being on the show. Oh, it's good to be here, man. Yeah, it's great to have you. Oh, um, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before what? I forget, first of all, I want to get this out of the way. These are our new tour shirts. Okay. We're going to tour. So I bought you one, you know. Funk me, Funk okay. Me. Urban Rhapsody Tour 97. All right. We'll be on mark. I bought you for one for you and for one for your concubine. Ah. <laughs> 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 I'm going to head for that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> concubine, huh? Concubine. <laughs> So, let's, let's uh, not be gentle. Let's just get right to it. Tell us what happened. What happened when and where about what? Well, let's, well you spent uh, a short stint I, in... Close uh, to three years in three prison. Three years. Folsom Prison. Folsom Prison, that's right. Rednecks Prison. Mm -hmm. IQ correction officers, like, couldn't get a job at McDonald's type human beings. Yeah. Telling you when to get up and when to shower and when to go to bed and when to walk. Right. Yeah. Now that, that that must have been for someone who was in the, in the position that you were, mm -hmm. with all the fame and success that you had. Well, it, it was it was quite a you know it was a big drastic change, but it's something I really I really needed. You know, Keenan, mm -hmm. I I mean, <clears throat> I, you know, in, in my career when I when I started, everything cocaine and 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 partying was such a big part of of that whole era that I came right. up in, where to us, it, everything, it was always all right, you know, it was always right, all right to do coke, and, and, and well, you know how it was. It was, it was, it was, it was insane. That was part of the, uh, was part of the culture. <clears throat> and, and me being such an extremist, I got really carried away, you know, I'm trying mm -hmm. to live this Rick James image, you know, right. and, of this wild, crazy person. You know, my real name is James Johnson, and um, so he's a lot different than this Rick James persona. Right. And uh, I ended up smoking coke freebasin and then doing crack. And I moved out here, <clears throat> and I brought this house that used to be owned by Mickey Roney. It's a gorgeous house. I sat on a hill. And uh, my mother was dying of cancer at the time. She, just, she passed away about four years ago. Mm -hmm. And as you know, my mother was the closest thing to me in the world. Right. So basically what I did was stay up in this house and just isolate myself. Stayed in a room and uh, just smoked coke 24 hours, 24-7, uh, you know. And uh, the house was always filled with women coming in and out. And right. it was kind of... Um, I reverted back to a stage of, of you know, total degradation, where I was just in this room all the time, getting high, and girls coming in and out all the time. No, there's no, nothing. No, no ain't see, nothing fly got, about it. No, no, nothing yeah. fly about and it. Nothing fly, no. nothing fly about it. <clears throat> and girls coming in and out, and sex happening. You know, a lot of that, and um, you know, pimps and hoes and all that kind of thing. So one, so one morning, this girlfriend of mine brought this girl to my place. And there was, you know, the girl was fairly attractive. I mean, I was so high, I didn't know anyway, you know. It was like, and sex happened, and she stayed there for a while. And she, well, she stayed there for about three weeks, two and a half, three weeks. And then she left, and she came back, and she was like, little pipe burns were on her and, and, and all this, you know. So, you know, I looked at her, you know, wow. She said, well, my man was mad at me for staying over here too, you know, too long. You, you got a man, you know. You, I didn't know that, you know. And um, he was a vicious pimp. And it all came up in court, but... In court, it was like he was buried away and the focus was on Rick James. Right. So all you people who believe the torture story and the Marquis decide and the sex and all that wild stuff, it sounds really great, but no, it didn't happen. Okay. Well, <laughs> we're glad that you were able to take that experience, turn your life around, make something positive. The new stuff sounds great. The yeah. album is Urban Rhapsody. The album is Urban Rhapsody. Comes um, out October 12th. 14th. 14th, all right. We got some great people. Snoop Dogg, Bobby Womack. Uh, they'll go get it. You guys check it out. Rick James, we'll be back right after this. Explore the mysteries behind the television. Looking for old high school or college friends? How about your old sweetheart? ACR can help you find that person. So call now, toll free, 1-888-685-FIND. They came on, we know.
name is Jimbo, and I am here to ask for your help. As you can see, we are all gaining weight, and things... They weren't dry. If I'm late for her parents, she'll kill me, he thought as he hung the pants out of the window and sped off. Maybe by the time I get there, they'll be dry. Yes, he convinced himself. Everything. My next guest is a pioneering force in funk music. You might remember some of his jams like Super Freak. You and I, here to perform his classic, Mary Jane. Let's put the hands together for Mr. Rick James.
was Rick James, the CD is called Urban Rhapsody. Make sure you check it out. We'll be right back after this.